Hello everybody, and hello people watching this on YouTube in the future. We're on Instagram Live now, waiting for people to log into the workout. And then we will get started in a few minutes. We got a mobility workout today. What's up, Marino? Sorry for the close up. I'm just gonna pin a comment here. And then we will get started. Just trying to pin this comment. All right, I think I got it. Hello to everybody that's here. Hello to everybody watching on YouTube in the future. We got a 30 minute mobility workout today. As you guys log on, give me a little fist pound, say what's up. Shoot some emojis in the comments. Let's get this workout started. I'm just gonna play some music. Hello to my friends out there and hello to any new friends logging on. We have a super juicy 30 minute mobility workout today. So we're gonna do a little bit for every joint in your body. A lot of mobility work is activation work. So we're gonna do some exercises like planks to get your core muscles activated, get everything around your spine working, and then do a lot of stuff where we're just focusing on the shoulder or just focusing on the hip ankles, knees, we'll go through every joint in the body. So we're just gonna take a little while longer, let some more people log on. And if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, there's always this couple minutes in the beginning where it's a little awkward, and then we get started. Lobster lady, how do you get into my class? It seems to me like you're already in. I think you're good. So if you guys are just logging on now, throw me a fist pound in the comments. Hopefully we'll all be able to do this in the gym again soon. What's up Gabby, how's it going? I'd like to welcome everybody that's logged on to my backyard here in Tampa, Florida. It's about 85 degrees, so sorry in advance if I sweat a lot. Let me know where you're checking in from. Put where, what city you're from in the comments so I have a little, little gauge of where everybody's from here. How's it going, Miri? So just a couple more minutes before we get started. Doing mobility today. So it's not super high intensity. We're gonna crank it up a little bit with just some muscle activation techniques. But for the most part, we're focusing on mobility and joints throughout your body. What's up, Chicago? What's up, Houston? What's up, Brooklyn? What's up, New York? So I think you guys up there are getting weather like I'm getting down here. It seemed like from all the Instagram pictures I looked at yesterday, you had a nice weekend up north. So it looks like summer, summer has arrived. Hello everybody that's new to the room. We're doing a mobility workout today. We'll get started in about a minute or so. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. My name is there in that pinned comment. Uh, you can DM me any follow-up questions that you have about this workout and feel free to throw me a follow. And any questions that you come up with today, any questions in the future about fitness and wellness, I'd be happy to answer them. We just got about one minute left and then we'll get going on this mobility workout. So for those of you that don't know what mobility is, mobility is moving your bones through a range of motion in their joints with control. So whereas flexibility might be where you're just holding a stretch, mobility there is a level of control involved in the movement as well. So that's the reason why we have to activate muscle groups and make muscles do their job to articulate the joint to their ranges of motion and then push those ranges of motion a little bit further. So that's the goal of today. Hopefully by the end of this 30 minutes you feel a lot better. Uh, usually mobility, mobility makes your body feel really good and it's pretty low impact so it won't wipe you out. Alright, so we're going to get started. 
Uh, with the first thing we're going to do is a little dynamic flexibility standing up to start to lubricate your joints, get your heart rate up, get your blood pumping, move some nutrients around your body, and then we'll go into some more isolated stuff afterwards. All right, so the first thing I want you to do, we're gonna start with your ankles, and then we're gonna go through every joint in your body, ankles, knees, hips, trunk, shoulders, neck. So the first thing I want you to do for your ankles is pick your toes up. All right, so try to pick your toes up Really pick your toes up as high as you can, and then short little footsteps, keeping your heels under your hips, and about hip distance apart. I want you to walk forward and back on your mat with your toes up in the air. All right, so this might be a little hard to balance, that's okay. Try to use your core to balance. Keep your toes up as high as you can, and walk yourself forward and back on your mat. All right, so your toes are really pointing up. Feet are about hip width apart and we're walking back and forth just three times, all the way forward, all the way back. All right, keep your weight on your heels, keep your toes up. All right, feet your about hip width apart, going forward and back, and then switch to your heels are up. So now your toes, your toes are pushing down into the ground, heels are up, get up as high as you can, stay up in that position, and walk forward and back three times. Really trying to fire up these ankles. All right, so keep your feet about hip distance apart. Take little steps, transfer the weight from one foot to the other, walking back and forth on your toes, okay? So you're up on your toes, heels are up, three times, forward and back, baby steps. Making sure you shift the weight from one foot to the other, keep those heels up, really try to fire up the ankles, all right? You should be at your maximum range of motion, that ankle so you're all the way up. All right, you're all the way up on that one, all the way forward, all the way back. Good. So now we're going to move on to the knees. Take one knee, lift it up, other arm goes back for stability. All right, so you're opening up your chest a little bit towards that knee. Squeeze the knee into your chest. Put that knee down. Same thing, other side. All right, opposite arm reaches back so you get a little bit of trunk mobility while you're pulling this knee up. All right, don't curl your spine over. Keep your heart up towards the sky. All right, twist, pull that knee up. Twist, pull the knee up. Twist, pull it up, opposite arm, opposite knee. Work together just like you're sprinting. All right, pull it up, twist. You got about four more, pull it up, twist. Pull it up, twist, pull it up. And twist, last one on each side, pull it up, twist, pull it up, twist. Now same thing in the back. Opposite arm grabs the knee, lift it up. All right, opposite arm grabs the knee, lift it up. Opposite arm grabs the leg, actually you're grabbing your ankle and bending your knee. All right, try to keep your shoulders over your hips, so you're not leaning forward. Shoulders over hips, pick that leg up, pull the knee back. Shoulders over hips, leg up, knee back. Shoulders over hips, leg up, pull the knee back. Get a big stretch in this quad here, simulating that running motion still. All right, just firing up those knee capsules. All right, making sure those knees are working well. Now we're gonna switch to the hips. All right, this first one is for the outside of your hip. Cross your leg over, sink your butt down, and you'll feel a stretch in the outside of this hip. All right, get deep in that stretch, and then switch. Cross it over, sink your butt down, feel the stretch in the outside of the elevated knee, and then put that leg back down. All right, cross it over, sink it down, feel the stretch, and then right into the other one, all right? So you start to move through this range of motion with control. Get deep down into it, back up and switch. Deep down into it, Back up and switch. Don't curl over. Shoulders up. Up on top of your hips. All right, cross it over. Sink it down. Back up. Cross it over. Sink it down. Back up. Cross over. Really trying to feel the stretch in the outer hip. Sink it down. Back up. Let's do one more. Cross that leg over. Sink down. Feel that stretch. And back up, good. Now we're gonna do your inner thighs, all right? Come all the way to this high knee position. 
Yes. Lateral lunge, opposite knee and opposite elbow are both bending together. And then push up into this balance position. All right, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Lateral lunge, push up, balance. Lateral lunge, push up, balance. Lateral lunge, push up, and balance. Try to go right into this balance position. So you go balance, outside, right up to the balance. All right, two more. Push out, and push back up. Feel that stretch of the inner thigh. Push out, and push back up. And now let's switch. Other leg is your plant leg. High knee, out to the side. Push together, and then push up. Lateral lunge out. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. And then push back up. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Out. Up. Out. Up. Really hold that balance. Try to own it. Push out. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Push up. Own that balance. Push out. Push up. Do more. Push out, feel that stretch. Push up, hold that balance. Out, and stretch. Up, and balance, good. Now hold that stretch in those inner thighs. All right, you're still stretching the inner thighs. Now we're gonna open up your rib cage and your obliques and down the side of your spine. Ride down your leg, reach your other arm over, and then come back to the start. Ride down the leg, other arm over, back to the start. You're going five each way. All right, really try to reach. Don't crunch over, stay long. Stay long and reach. All right, stay long and reach. Stay tall, open up this side body. Stay tall, open up the side body. One more time each way. Tall. Side body. Tall. Side body. Good. Hold your legs here. Tighten the glutes. Tighten the quads. So your hips will move. All right, hips stay still. Arms straight out. Rotate all the way one way. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Rotate all the way the other way. Deep inhale, exhale. Rotate and breathe. Rotate and breathe. Two more each way. Here you go. Rotate and breathe. Rotate that trunk. It's all coming from here. Rotate the trunk and breathe. Hips stay still. Shoulders rotate and breathe. Hips stay still. Shoulders rotate and breathe. Good. Going from there right into arm circles. So hold this wide stance. Ten arm circles forward. Getting bigger and bigger as you go. Long fingers. Here we go. Get bigger. Five more. Get really big. Three, two, one. Going backwards. Start small. Ten. Get bigger. Five. Bigger. Four. Three, real big, two, one, good work. Right, now we want both arms to be straight up in the air. All right, both arms straight up in the air. Palms facing forward, feet just a little wider than your hips. All right, now take one arm and rotate the back of that hand to your lower back. Take the opposite arm, stretch your neck. Reach that opposite arm up. Rotate that other arm back up and rotate the other arm down. Back of your hand to your lower back. Grab your head. Stretch the trap. Back to the start. Hands up. Rotate this hand out, around, and up. This hand goes out, around, back of your palm, lower back. Grab the neck. Stretch the neck. Back up. Rotate this arm back up. Rotate the other arm down, so you're really getting the back of that hand on your lower back. Stretch the neck, back up, 
Rotate it back up. One more time each way. Rotate this hand so the whole arm is rotating. Pull the head down. Reach up. Rotate that hand back up. Rotate your other hand down. And pull the head down that way. And rotate back up. All the way back down. All right. Now I just want you to stretch out the front of your neck and the back of your neck. So take your chin and go all the way to your chest, feet a little wider than your hips, shoulders over hips, abs engaged, chin to chest. Feel the stretch in the back of your neck. All right, hold for a deep inhale, exhale. And then chin to the sky. Stretch the front of your neck. Hold for a deep inhale, exhale. One more time, chin to chest. Hold for an inhale, exhale. Chin to the sky. Hold for an inhale, exhale. Good, so that's the end of our warm up. I just wanna make sure you guys are all doing good. All right, I don't see any comments here, so everything's probably okay. For those of you that started late, we're doing a little mobility warm up today. And so the next thing we're gonna do is walk our hands out to the hands and knees position. All right, so walk your hands out and drop your knees down. So your hands are right beneath your shoulders and your knees are beneath your hips. Now we're gonna do a scapular push-up. So tuck your toes under and push your hands, to the, push your chest to the ground and then push your chest all the way up. All right, push your chest all the way down. And push your chest all the way up. Back and forth, pushing your shoulder blades forward and back. All right, scapular push-ups. Let's do five more. Elbows stay straight, just making the shoulder blade move around here, okay? Your gaze should be right in front of your fingertips so your spine is in line with your neck. All right, pushing down and up. Down. And up, just going through the shoulder, scapula push-up, one more. There we go. All right, so now take one leg and reach that leg back. All right, you can untuck the other toe or you can keep it tucked, either way. All right, reach that leg back. Now we're gonna do 10 little pulses straight up. All right, reach that heel all the way back and go up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now go out to the side. Hold it out there. Hips stay parallel to the ground. Shoulders parallel to the ground. And go up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now draw a circle with that back leg. All right, five circles one way and five circles the other way. Don't let your hips or shoulders move. Just try to move that leg. All right, two more this direction. And then switch, other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold that leg up and reach the opposite arm forward. So my left leg is up and my right arm is forward. And hold for 10 seconds. Other leg straight back, reach long through that heel, and lift that heel up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, move it all the way out to the diagonal, and 10 times up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now five circles in each direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Make that leg really long. All right. Push the ground away from your chest. Flat back. Hip parallel to the ground. Draw in a circle with that back leg. Three, two, 
One, good work. All right, now take your hands, rotate your hands the opposite direction. We're gonna give your wrist a little stretch. All right, now draw a circle around your wrists. So your hands are, your, your fingertips are facing your legs, and you're gonna draw a circle with your shoulders. All right, nice and easy. Open up those wrists, make your fingers really wide. And go back the opposite direction. Draw a circle around your wrists. All right, your hands are facing the opposite direction. So your hands are facing your thighs. And you're drawing a circle, opening up those wrists. Just wanna make sure everything's good here. You guys are good. All right, let's get back into it. Now this time, have the back of your hands on the ground. Back of your hands are on the ground. Fingertips are facing your thighs. And sink your body weight back. All right, sink your body weight back. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. So the back of your hands are on the ground. All right, sinking back. All right, big and a big stretch in the top of your forearm here. Sink that weight back. Just hold it for five, four, Three, two, one. Now palm or fists together. All right, knuckles together. All right, and then put your forearms and your knuckles on the ground. Really try to push your knuckles together and push your knuckles down. And then keep a fist as you straighten your elbows all the way up. All right, go down and up. So I have this on the ground, down and up, pushing your knuckles into the ground, all right? Knuckles are going into the ground and they're going into each other, pushing down and up, all right? It's gonna stretch out all down the top of your hands, fingertips, and the back of your forearms. We need to see what's going on with the music here. There we go. All right, let's just finish off that stretch so your knuckles are on the ground, knuckles pushing together. And push all the way up, back and forth, crushing out those hands. All right, next thing we're gonna do, keep your hands right down beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips and tuck your toes under. All right, your knees should be a little wider than your hips here. Your knees a little wider than your hips and push your knees up to ankle height. This is called a bear plank. Try to keep your back flat so your knees are off the ground and your hands are beneath your shoulders. And now one limb at a time, lift up. Right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg. Right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg. One more time, here we go. Right arm. Left arm, left leg, right leg. Now hold that bare plank. Right arm, left leg, same time. Three, two, one. Left arm, right leg, same time. Three, two, one. Good. All right, moving on. Now push up into a plank position. All right, plank position. And then take one leg, left leg comes outside of your left hand. All right, now you can keep that back knee up or put your back knee down. Rotate your hands and hook the back of the elbow under the opposite knee. Now from here, lift the back leg up if you can. And hold. Deep breaths. Five, four, three, hold it up. Two, one, take your opposite hand from that front leg. It's my left leg and my right hand. Reach up to the sky and hold. 
10 seconds. Try to get length in your spine. Try to rotate and look up at that hand. Keep your back knee straight and really make it work. All right, now from there, bring this elbow to the ground and then reach back up. Reaching up, elbow to the ground. Reach up, down, up, down, last one, up, and down. Put that back knee down and bring both hands up to your hips. All right, shoulders over hips, slide your hips forward. Don't let your tailbone point back. So don't arch your lower back. Try to tuck your tailbone under, slide your hips forward. All right, my, my right leg is in the back here. And this is gonna open up my right hip flexor. And then start to bounce slowly back and forth. All right, bounce into it and out of it. Nice and slow, in and out, in and out, one more time, in and out. Now this time, straighten out that front leg, sink your butt back. Have your hands on the ground outside of your front knee. All right, sink your hips back until you feel a stretch in this hamstring. All right, so hips go back, back and down, and then take this whole front leg and rotate it. So if your toe is pointing at 12 o'clock, point it out to 9 o'clock, and then bring it back into 3 o'clock. All right, point it out to 9 o'clock, back into 3 o'clock. This knee stays straight. Out, in, out. Back to the center, back up to the high kneel. Hands down, back to the plank. Other leg goes forward. Take both hands and tuck them outside of that knee. If you have to put this back leg down, that's okay. Try to keep it up and rotate. Hold for 10. Now put your left hand on the ground or the opposite hand of that front leg and reach to the sky. Look up. Now three reps, elbow to the ground, hand to the sky. Elbow to the ground, hand to the sky. Elbow to the ground, hand to the sky. Both hands down, put your back knee down, and then both hands come to your hips. Slide your hips forward until you feel a stretch in the hip flexor of the back leg. Slide forward and back. Slide forward and back. There we go, three, two, one. Now straighten out that front leg. Straighten it out. Straight knee. Hands down next to that knee. And rotate that entire leg. All right? You're taking this whole leg and rotating it in and out while you're pushing your butt back. All right? Butt back. Rotate the leg. All right? Three more. Three, two, and one. Good. Now sink your left hip down to the ground and bring your left leg out in front of you at 90 degrees and your other leg is next to you at 90 degrees. All right, so both knees are at 90. One leg's going out, other leg's going to the side. All right? So I'll put your opposite arm down. So my left leg is in front of me. My right leg is out to the side. And I'm gonna put my left arm down. 
Take the opposite hand, reach as far through this little hole as you can, so thread the needle, reach back, and then push your legs into the ground, lift your hips up, and reach this arm all the way up and over. Right, slowly reach down and back. And under control, reach up and over. Push those hips up and then bring them back down. Reach under. And then push the hips up really high. And reach all the way up. Come back down to your hips. Now rotate to the mirror position. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep tall and rotate to the opposite side. All right, now you're in that mirror position. Right knees forward, left knees out to the side. Hand down, thread the needle. All right, thread the needle right through. And then push your hips up. And stretch out that side body. Thread the needle, reach down and through. Push the hips up. Reach up and over. Thread the needle, reach down and through. Reach up, last time. And now come to that seated position, all right? And start to rotate back and forth. Nice and slow, rotate to the opposite side. And then rotate to the opposite side. Keep your feet stationary. Keep your spine long. Shoulders over hips, and rotate, all right? Make your hips and your obliques do all the work. Rotate. Rotate. One more each way. Rotate. And rotate. All right, so we've hit every joint in your body. Now we're gonna put it all together. I want to do a little finisher here at the end. So there's a little bit of hard work coming. What we're going to do is a side plank with the top leg raising. All right? So elbow on the ground, knee on the ground, top leg is long. All right, push your hips up. And lift that top leg up. We're doing 10 reps. Everybody ready? All right, push down into that bottom knee. It's your right knee, your right elbow, squeeze the ground, and up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, put both hands down and push up into a plank, right, plank position, back flat, take one arm, Reach it all the way forward, all the way to the opposite hip, shoulder, and down. Other arm reaches forward, opposite hip, opposite shoulder, down. Reach, opposite hip, opposite shoulder, down. Reach, opposite hip, opposite shoulder, down. Make sure your hips don't move. All right, your hips stay parallel to the ground. Reach, opposite shoulder, opposite hip, down. Reach, opposite hip, opposite shoulder. Don't move those hips. One more on each side, reach. Opposite hip, opposite shoulder, down. Reach, opposite hip, opposite shoulder, down. Now we're going to that other side plank. Right, left elbow, left knee. Squeeze the ground. Push your body up. All right? And then take your top leg and lift that top leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Flat on your back. Flat on your back. Push up into a bridge. Rest your head, push your elbows down into the ground. Up into a bridge. 
Take the opposite leg. Five circles out and five circles in. Here we go. Make that leg really long. And switch. Three, two, one, switch. Other leg down, other leg up. Here we go. Five, four, three. Draw a circle with your heel. Push this plant heel to the ground hard. Your glute should be working. Five, four, three. Good, come up to a seated position. Now we're just gonna take a deep breath. Reach your hands all the way up. And all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. And all the way out this time, hold. Three, two, one. Good work, team. That's all I got for you guys today. Just a little 30 minute mobility. Thank you guys for coming. Excellent work out there. It's hard for me to tell whether you guys worked hard or not, but I'm just gonna hope that you guys did. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on Instagram, or if you wanna throw any follow-up questions into the comments now, now's a good time as well. Thank you for the thumbs ups. Love the positive energy. And thank you guys so much for joining. It was great to be with you guys today. Hope you guys have a great Monday. And hope you enjoyed Monday Mobility with Mike. Thank you, thank you guys. Good work, good work. Thanks, thanks for showing up, thanks for sweating. Thank you everybody. Thanks so much to all the familiar faces, or all the, all the familiar names as well as the new names. Chelsea Pierce has a different type of workout every single day. This workout will be on IGTV. Every workout we do online goes to IGTV. And it also goes to our YouTube channel. So personally what I've been doing is I do a bar class one day, a yoga class one day, a mat class one day, a hit class one day. So I mix it up every day. And Chelsea Pierce has all the options. So check back in every day. Keep working hard. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you guys showing up and working hard. Peace. See you next time.